Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here on a Friday, April 21st, 2023, man. Bringing y'all my NBA Jam Session, Playoff Edition. We're trying to cook up this NBA per usual, man. If you're looking for more of this great content, y'all know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and drop y'all like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing what y'all like, man. My best bets, the ones that I'm placing tonight, the ones that I'm going heavy in, can be found in that link in the description, man. Click it. Takes you right to my handicapper page, man. There, you can find my top plays, man. We've been red hot on both top plays. That NBA Jam Session play, my $19 play, my feature play every day. We're 17, 7, and 1. Last 25 on that play, including a nice winner with the Golden State Warriors last night, man. They flipped the switch, had the magnets in the rim activated, man. The shots they were missing in Sacramento were falling in Golden State, man. You had Curry hyping up the crowd. Typical Golden State behavior on their home floor where they've gone stupid, dummy, crazy at all season, man. I love that for them last night. Down 2-1. We'll see if they can make it a series again and tie it up 2-2. Again, 17-7-1 last 25 on that NBA Jam Session play. 7-2 on that play to begin the postseason, man. We've been red hot on that play. Trying to keep it rolling. Scoop up today's play. 19 bucks. Link in the description. Also, my MLB play of the day. We've been hot on that as well, man. We've hit 15 of 20 to begin the MLB season, man. Including a nice winner with the Mets last night, man. We've only missed five on that MLB play of the day to begin the MLB season. We've hit 15 of those. Trying to keep it rolling. Trying to keep it rolling. Trying to keep it rolling, man. Thank y'all for being here, man. Follow me on Twitter, at ParleyGuyJazz. That's where I'm at all day, man. I just be tweeting out all day, man. So if you got any questions or you just want to chat with me, man, I'm on Twitter. You can hit me up there. And uh, I'll be back later on today with my live show, man, 3 Central, 4 Eastern, right here on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel, man. Y'all know the drill. I bring on a guest. We run through the card one more time. We update y'all on late injury news and information that came out of the association, man. And we're just chatting hoops, man, trying to get on the right side of some of these bets. Um, and, you know, I love seeing what y'all got to say in the live chat, and I love just the conversation with my guests on a daily. So come spend some time with us later on today, man, as we try to cook up that NBA. Three games tonight. Y'all know the drill. Let's smash it per usual, man. So without further ado, let's try to do just that, and let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. In our first matchup of the night, man, we got the Boston Celtics out on the road facing the ATL Hawks, man. Celtics road favorites laying five, total 229, man. I've been telling you, I think this series is the sweep, man. I, I've said that from the jump. I think the Celtics sweep the Hawks, and I think they probably win this game fairly comfortably by five points or so. What we've seen over the last few playoff games is the favorite that wins is the favorite that covers. Um... It finally broke last night with the uh, Clips getting the backdoor cover in that one, but it's like 47-1 and one, um, with the team that wins the game, covers the spread. So I'm just going to lay the five with the Celtics in this one. I'm not going to overcomplicate it. Uh, this is going to be the sixth meeting between these two teams this season. The Celtics won all five meetings, um, including... You know, the first two in this playoff series, both in Boston, won both by 13 points. Was up 30 at half in game one. Celtics did try to chip away, but still got hammered, did not cover. Same thing, game two in Boston. They won that one by 13 points. We go to the regular season, it's pretty much the same result. They played three meetings in the regular season, two of which were in Atlanta. Uh, the first meeting this season was in Atlanta on the 16th of November. Celtics hammered them, man, 126-101. The second game uh, that they played this season was in Atlanta as well. This one was a little closer to now. It was on the 11th of March. Celtics beat them up in that game as well, 134-125. The only meeting this season that, was, uh, that wasn't a double-digit win for the Celtics was the last regular season game. Celtics still won that one in Boston, 120-114. That game was on the 9th of April. But I'm not looking too much into that game. That was right before the postseason. None of the starters for either team played. I believe the leading scorer in that game was Peyton Pritchard. But even then, the Celtics got it done. Would have covered this line as well. They've won every game this season by double digits. Other than that other one, which they won by six. I see no reason why they don't do it again here tonight, man. The Hawks just don't have the pieces to match up with the Celtics. The Celtics are the defending Eastern Conference champs. For a reason, man. They probably sweep the Hawks and probably roll them here tonight. Give me the Celtics. Land the five. 
here in our first matchup of the night. In our next matchup of the night, man, we got the Cleveland Cavs out on the road facing the New York Knicks. Man, we got the Knicks favorite at home laying one and a half, total 214, man. I think this is one of the most evenly matched series we got, man. I think this series as a whole is 50-50. I think this game is 50-50, and I think the line indicates that. When I say 50-50, I mean could go either way, man. I really do. It's a tough one for me, man. This is probably one of the more toughest games we've had uh, in the postseason, man. I This is a true 50-50, meaning it could go either way, man. Knicks stole game one in Cleveland, man. They won that one 101-97. Cleveland responded and uh, beat up on the Knicks that last one, 107-90, to a 17-point win. The Knicks this season, what we've come to find out is they like playing their best basketball outside of Madison Square Garden, although down the stretch they did start playing better home basketball. Straight up at home this season, the Knicks were 23-23 and 18 uh five games above 500 the knicks on the road i mean not the knicks the Cavs on the road this season straight up we're about 50 50 man i want to say yeah they were 20 and 21 straight up out on the road this season so one game under 50 50 and like i said this is a 50 50 series a 50 50 type game man i'm leaning cleveland but that's as much as it is for me it's a lean towards the Cavs. um I love what i seen from Cleveland in Game 2 defensively, only holding this Knicks team to 90 points. I think that was huge for them. Uh, we saw a better game from Mobley down low. We saw a better game from uh, Allen down low. I think it kind of translates into tonight. I also lean under in this game, 211. It's a small lean in that aspect as well. It was a low-scoring game, both games, 101-97, 107-90. Um, I don't think the pace of play picks up much more in this game either. We know Cleveland likes to slow the game down. I think they probably do it in this one as well. I'm leaning Cavs. I don't love it, though, but I'm leaning Cavs. I kind of just trust this team more. I do think the Cavs are the better team. We've seen them play the better basketball for majority of the season. Um, Donovan Mitchell has more playoff experience than, a, say, some of these Knicks team. The Knicks team, they're kind of inexperienced, um, to be honest. When you look at it, I mean, the person with the most playoff experience is probably who? Jalen Brunson, who got to his, what, first playoffs last year. Um, went to the Western Conference Finals with the Mavs. But, you know, Randall, I think he's only been once got put out that first round by the Hawks that one series, man. Donovan Mitchell's been in the playoffs every year. He's been in the league, man, with the Utah Jazz. I don't know, man. I'm being honest, man. This is probably the toughest game that we've had all postseason. It's a true 50-50. I say flip a coin. Um, and that'll help you get a better read on this game, man. I can make the argument either way. I, I'm going to make it for Cleveland. I lean Cleveland. I think Cleveland's the better team. I love the defensive effort we've seen in that last game. A 17-point win was pretty dominant, man, and I would not be surprised if that momentum carried over into this one. I think this series probably goes seven. I picked Cleveland in seven. Um, I'd say if I had to call the series, Cleveland wins tonight. New York responds game four. Cleveland wins game five. Knicks win game six. Cleveland takes it at home game seven, I think, is how this series plays out. We'll see, though. Leaning Cavs on the money line here in this one tonight, though. I think they steal home court advantage back from the Knicks. In our last and final matchup of the night, man, we got the Denver Chicken Nuggets out on the road facing the Minnesota Timberwolves, also known as AKA the House of Disappointment, man. Nuggets land two and a half, total 222 and a half. Hey, that game too, if you were watching that, if you had money on that, man, you probably aged just like me uh, probably three to four years just watching that game. The stress that game put on my heart, man. I tell y'all all the time I have a golden rule in place. I don't fade the Nuggets on their home floor. It's just something I don't do. And, of course, I went and did it. And, of course, like I have all season, I paid the price for it in that game too. Nuggets got the cover one by nine. It was a little questionable on how it was done. Uh, we're up seven. Shot an air ball. Shot clock went off. Coach was calling timeout, all that carrying on. Didn't didn't matter. Timberwolves in typical disappointing fashion. Throw the ball away. Caldwell Pope steals. They get fouled. Hits both free throws. Up nine. Timberwolves, 12 seconds left in the game. Inbounds play out of bounds for the cover. 
and they throw the ball away. Typical Minnesota Timberwolves, and that's what I get for trying to fade the Nuggets on their home floor. Tonight, though, man, I did kind of like what I saw from the Timberwolves in that game, even though that they pissed it away in the end. They were down huge in that game and had, you know, the mental capacity to come back and make it a game. They should have covered that line, man. They really should have. We're not in Denver tonight, though, man. I don't really love fading Denver on their home floor. Denver goes stupid, dummy, crazy at home. We've known that all season. 27-15-1 and one ATS are the Nuggets on their home floor. We're also dead tied with the uh, Memphis Grizzlies for the best straight-up home team in the NBA. The Nuggets up there in Denver just go crazy, especially in that 9 o'clock window. This season, though, they played this Timberwolves team twice out on the road and lost both games out on the road. They're not the same juggernaut out on the road as they are at home. 124-111 was the score the first time they played the Timberwolves in Minnesota. Minnesota got the win. That game was on the 2nd of January. The second time they played them, Minnesota hammered them in that one, 128-98 on the 5th of February. Kind of like the Warriors yesterday, man. With their back up against the wall, I expect the T-Wolves to respond, man. I think they get this one done. I do. I'm going to take the T-Wolves on the money line in this one, man. The T-Wolves have the talent. The T-Wolves have the talent. And they actually match up better than most teams will with this Nuggets team, having Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert down there to, you know, give Jokic some different looks. I think the T-Wolves get this one done, man. I really do. I think they tie the series. Not tie it up, but I think they make it interesting at 2-1. I don't think the Nuggets sweep this team, man. The T-Wolves. Man, they gave the what's the name uh, a run for their money last season in the Memphis Grizzlies. That was a hell of a series. And I expect this one to be kind of the same way, man. The Timberwolves have nuclear power. They can explode on you in some games, man. They can I do think they show up in this one tonight. I'm going to take a chance with them on the money line, fading the Nuggets on the road. Uh, the Nuggets on the road this season, ATS-wise, both teams, it's kind of a wash. Uh, I'll run it through right quick. Minnesota, ATS at home, they were 20 and 22, two games under 500. And the Nuggets, ATS on the road, they were 19 and 22, three games under 500, ATS on the road. So... Interesting game. I think this one will be competitive. That last game was competitive. The T-Wolves just made some mistakes in the end. I don't think they make those same mistakes tonight at home. I think their home crowd plays to their advantage. I think they match up quite well with this Nuggets team. I think this line is where it's at for a reason, two and a half. Um, Nuggets at home go stupid, dummy, crazy. That's why the lines were so heavy at home. Uh, one of the best cover teams at home all season. But they're not that same juggernaut on the road. Are the Nuggets? T-Wolves beat this t Nuggets team Twice at home this season, both times pretty convincingly. I think they win game three here in Minnesota as well. I'm going to take the Wolves on the money line. Need a huge game from Cat. He disappeared in that fourth quarter in that last one. Anthony Edwards absolutely got off. I think he probably gets off again, and we see an improved game from Cat. And uh, T-Wolves win this one at home. That's the way I'm leaning here in this one. And that's going to conclude today's episode on the Jam Session on April 21st, 2023, man. Thank you all for watching. Smash that like button for your guy, man. Subscribe if you're new. And drop your like down in the comments. As you know, I love going through, seeing who y'all like, man. My best bets, the ones that I'm placing tonight, can be found over at Pick Dogs Premium. Just click that link in the description. Takes you right to my handicapper page, man. There, you can find my top plays, man. We've been red hot on both top plays. 17, 7, and 1. Last 25 on that $19 NBA Jam Session play, man. We're trying to keep that rolling. Nice winner last night with the Golden State Warriors, man. They got it done. Uh, responded on their home floor 2-1 now. We'll see if they can tie it up at home, man. But red hot on that play, man. 17-7-1, trying to keep the momentum rolling forward. Scoop it up, 19 bucks. Also, you can find my MLB play of the day there as well, man. Red hot on that play. We've hit 15 of our first 20 to begin the MLB season on that play of the day, man. We've only missed 5 out of 20. Trying to keep that play rolling, man. You can scoop it up. Link in the description as well. I got long-term packages there, man. Three-day, seven-day, 30-day, monthly, yearly, seasonal. I got the season pack that gets you every game from now through game seven of the NBA Finals. However you want to do it at PickDogs.com, man. You can do it, man. So if you're rocking with me, rock with me. Follow me on Twitter at ParlayGuyJ. And y'all know the drill. I'll be back later on today. Three Central, 
4 Eastern with my live show, man. As I bring on a guest, we're going to try to cook up the NBA per usual, man. Update y'all on any late injury news and information that came out of the association, man. And we're just talking hoops, man. Trying to get on the right side of some of these games, man. So come spend some time with us later on today, man, as we try to cook up this NBA and make money per usual, man. Thank y'all for watching. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs, man. I'll see y'all later on today, and I'm out of here. Peace.